high 7th graders. Teacher Lolita is here again for Health 7, one of the components of mother. We are still in the second quarter and I am extremely honored to teach you today. I want to welcome you all and I hope that you enjoy learning with me. Let me bring with you your quarter 2 learning activity sheet 1 pen and answer sheet before we are going to proceed to our lesson. Of course, find a place that no one could disturb and lost your consideration. Let's start. For today's lesson, you are expecting to identify the right foods during adolescence. Before anything else, I want you to solve this word puzzle. This activity is an eye test to find five words in the puzzle. The clues are four words are the nutritional word. The other one is the synonym of the word teenager. Fine, start now. Are you done? Time is up. Let me click the right answers. The answers are adolescents, iron, calcium, protein, and carbohydrates. Who got the correct answers? Good job! You got it right. Our topic for today is the nutritional needs for adolescents. You know what? Some foods that are eat daily may not be always the right foods that your body needs. Are you agree with me? Actually, to choose healthy foods, you need to know more than just how food looks. As you continue to grow and develop, it is important that you know how to manage the changes at the top into your body and how to reach the full growth potential. Good nutrition is critical during the teenage years to ensure healthy growth and development. As you reach adolescence, you experience a growth spurt which increases demands of energy and nutrients. At this stage, your total nutrients are higher compared to other stages in your life cycle. This shows that nutrition and physical growth are basically related. Optimal nutrition is necessary for achieving your full growth potential. Rapid growth at adolescence requires you to consume greater amounts of certain nutrients such as calcium, iron, protein, and other energy-giving foods. As appetite is also likely to increase, it is important to choose your foods carefully. In order for adolescents to grow, develop, and be healthy, it is essential to follow healthy eating guidelines. Eat a variety of food daily such as plenty of vegetables, fruits, fruit crops, and grain products. Maintain in a healthy weight. Eat food that are low in fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol to lower the rest of heart disease. Consume milk and milk products and other calcium-rich foods such as dark green leafy vegetables and fish. Use sugar in moderation. You should avoid carbonated and sweetened drinks. Eat clean and safe food. Use iodized salt but avoid excessive intake of salty foods. Too much salt in the diet may increase the risk of having high blood pressure. I will show you a food pyramid for 13 to 19 age group that emphasized the importance of eating a balanced varied diet depicting the five main food groups grains, vegetables, dairy products, and other proteins including meat, fish, beans, nuts, and eggs. Food pyramids show examples of what to eat and the right proportion 
in recommended servings per day of each food group. Pyramids show the combination of all our meals over days or weeks, not just one plate, demonstrating a clear long-term path to better health and the idea that it's healthy to eat a variety of foods daily rather than to get most of your calories from just one or two of the groups. The tip of the food guide pyramid depicted fats, oils, and sweets and recommended limiting them to 100 to 300 of your total daily calories. Although some fats, such as olive oil, have proven benefits for cardiovascular health, understanding and interpreting the pyramid is easy. The foods near the bottom of the pyramid were the group of foods that should be eaten and but taken in large amount and those that are at the top which is also the smallest part should be also be eaten and taken in a small amounts and in moderation as the shape of the pyramid in its way up shrinks its size the human consumptions of the foods in those food groups should also shrink milk three to four servings foods include milk yogurt and cheese the key ingredient is calcium which builds strong teeth and bones fruits two to four servings fruits are excellent sources of vitamin c which helps cuts and keeps skin healthy and fiber which helps your digestion vegetables three to five servings veggies are also great sources of fiber and vitamin a just remember that darker colored vegetables like carrots and broccoli have more nutrients meat to the three servings foods includes meat beef chicken turkey fish pork but not bacon beans and nuts this group provides iron and protein, which gives you strong muscles. Grains 6 to 11 servings. This food group gives you energy because it contains carbohydrates. It includes bread, cereals, rice, and pasta. There is no good or bad food. It's just that the others are more nutritious than the others. How about the importance of nutrition among adolescents? Yes, you need calcium for bone development and needed for the regulation of vital body functions. Example, you can get calcium from dairy products, leafy vegetables, and tofu. Adolescents from 10 to 18 have calcium requirements of 1000 mg. Next, iron is important for the proper functioning of cells and for resistance to infection example by eating fruits or drinking fruits juices that contain vitamin c boys 13 to 15 years need 20 milligrams and for girls 21 milligrams another one protein helps the body mix enzymes antibodies and hormones also supplies the body with energy even if it's not your body's man's energy source example animal products such as meat fish poultry egg milk cheese and soybeans boys 13 to 15 need 7 to 1 grams girls need 6 to 3 grams carbohydrates an increase in the physical activities of adolescents requires more energy food energy giving food and carbohydrates are the starches and sugars found primarily in bread, cereals, and fruits and vegetables. Boys at the age of 13 to 14 need 2,800 kilocalories and 2,250 kilocalories are needed for girls weighing 49 kilograms. The last one, fiber. You need fiber or refuge. Indigestible. Complex carbohydrates found in tough parts of vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Fiber helps move waste through the digestive system. It prevents constipation and other intestinal problems and reduces your rest of heart diseases. Sometimes of fibers help control the diabetes. 
uh, by reducing blood glucose levels. Glucose means a simple sugar which is an important energy source in living organisms and is a component of many carbohydrates. Indeed, adolescents need more nutrients than adults because they gain at least 40% of their adult weight and 15% for their adult height during this period. Inadequate intake can be can lead to the delayed sexual development and slower linear growth, according to Jacob and Nair 2012. Remember that there is a strong relationship between what you eat and your health not only today but in the future as well proper nutrition also helps prevent diet related chronic diseases in the future such as cardiovascular disease cancer and osteoporosis it is important for you to select a well-balanced diet always those are the details of right foods and important nutrition among adolescents Let's assess your learning of what we just discussed. This is just a multiple choice. Choose a letter of the correct answer. Number one, how many eggs should an adolescent have for a day? A, one piece. B, four pieces. C, three pieces. D, two pieces. What is your answer? The correct answer is letter A. Number two question. To stay healthy weight, one should choose a healthy diet with blank. A. High calories from sweets. B. Fibers from fruits and vegetables. C. Fats and oils from processed foods. D. Caffeine from chocolate and coffee. Let's reveal the answer. The answer is letter B. Number three question. How much a serving of vegetables does an adolescent need? A. One serving. B. Three servings. C. Five servings. D. Seven servings. The answer is letter B. Three servings. Number four, which is not helpful to do? A. Eat fruits and vegetables daily. B. Limit the intake of sugar and salt. C. Increase consumptions of fatty foods. D. Eat breakfast high in fiber like oatmeal. Let's reveal the answer. The answer is letter C. Last question. Why adolescents required more energy and nutrients? A. They need to achieve full growth potential. B. They engage in more active physical activities. C. Their bodies are preparing for pubertal changes. D. Their bodies are undergoing several physical changes. Let's reveal the answer. The answer is letter a. Very good students for doing well so far. But let's try this activity, Pick Me, Pick Me. The first column we have variety of food. First we have banana, french fries, beans, fish, chocolate, eggplant, soda, burger, kong kong, and ice cream. The other column is the guide questions. Number one, which of the food choices are suited for adolescents like you? Number two, do you think you have helpful choices? Why do you think so? Number three, what do you plan to do with what you have discovered about choosing the right foods for you? As for today, you identify the right foods and the importance of nutrition among adolescents. Thank you so much for listening. See you in the next episode of Health7. 
God bless and goodbye.